Hello and welcome to Alkanai Crypts, the second of the Alkan Down Dungeons. Hello all. Let's see, we have quests here. And another quest there. I doing one now. So shut up. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, this is pretty straightforward. We start in a big, a big full room full of lots of tasty baddies to be dealing with. And they will summon ghostly versions of themselves. And then the mage will use a huge AoE spell on mobs that I'm not even attacking. And then I'm going to be forced to use my AoE taunt because this shit's just gone completely crazy. Then I find myself with over 10,000 health, and I'm feeling pretty smug about myself. And then I just cleave till everything's okay. And that is how this dungeon starts. Um, uh-oh. I tried to pummel on a spell that was uninterruptible. What a noob I am. And that fellow has a very lovely looking sword. I wish I were blessed with such a blade. But I am not. So I'm going to go here and hope that the DPS don't get themselves killed in the scant time it takes for me to loot. Go, go, go. Says Jizz Hunter. Honestly. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Sorry. Impatient people get my goat. I have a very patient goat, but when it's got, I am rather counterintuitively rendered speechless, which means that people who get my goat never get a good telling off. What a damn shame. So, yep, this is another mage who enjoys his instant cast pyroblasts. Some groups just want me to work for my money, which I suppose is fair enough. So I'll get killing them now. Those pants are not for me. I'm assuming. I didn't check. Nope, they're cloth. Damn you, Jizz Hunter. I despise you already. Jizz Hunter and Mad Gina. Oh god, what kind of horrible group have I entered here? What have we got here? Badam I suppose that's a slightly better name. I get it. It's the old. Oh god! Damn you, Mad Gina. Why must you be so mad? Why can't you just be... less mad? Must you? Honestly. I'm just gonna stay one group ahead of those guys. It's probably the only way to... guarantee that I'll get shit done! Oh, and make sure I don't forget to use Spell Reflection, which is a new spell I just got. Um... Spell Reflection and Retaliate, which I still haven't been able to discern whether or not Retaliate does anything useful whatsoever. Whoopsie poopsie. Uh, the old friends. Offline. And now, obviously, through having to do that, the DPS are going to instantly get themselves murdered. Well, no, they're not. Let's face it, there's power creep. They're just going to do the whole damn thing without me damn thing without me. There they go. They don't even need me. I'm totally irrelevant in a cataclysm world. In a cataclysm world. So, it's the end of them. That's the end of them and off we go. Of course, he's going to blink forward so that he can get off that instant cast pyroblast before I have a chance to do anything about it. I know your game, son. But no, I win this time. So to hell with you. Hippity bippity boppity boo. Right, we're coming up to the first boss. He's at the end of this reddish corridor. He's a big eyeball thing. And his big scary thing. Pardon me, we've got two big scary things. Uh, and I'll tell you about them after I stop exploding. First of all, the closer you are to him, the slower your casting is. That's bad for healers and 
casts and the like. And second of all, he also randomly targets people, and you'll notice by a glow on the ground, and the big thing will say, he, uh, Shirak the Watcher, focuses on blah. When that happens, whoever's being focused on has to run out of the glowing spot on the ground, lest they take terrible, terrible damage. But again, with the power creep, they probably won't even move, and will not suffer as a consequence. So let us keep on going. Let us keep on murdering. That's Stim uh, Stimix or Simix doing scout uh, tanking instead of me because he is a nerf herder. And I have the audacity to want to loot my kills. So, here he is, Shirek the Watcher of Guys. There is my lovely fiance logging into Laoma or Laoma or Lauma. I, I think it's Lauma. So, this Dread Watcher, or rather Dead Watcher, will die a horrible death. Has he focused on anyone yet? Doesn't seem to have done. There we go, he's focusing on SimXX, so I'm going to move out the spot. At the very least. Looks like everyone else did just in time. They're very generous with the time that spot takes. What have we got here? Ooh! A Hope Breaker Helm. That's better than my current, admittedly awesome looking wolf helmet. Hang on. Just gonna... murder these guys. And me stopping to have that small chat has probably enraged Mr. Jizz Hunter. <gasps> My god! <laughs> I like cakes, if they're moist. Jamosh, I need it. As do I. Sorry, I will equip it in a bit. Didn't see I won it. But don't worry, Mr. SimXX. I am no... No dirty, dirty, dirty old ninja. No, I need things that I in fact want, so there we go. Wow. It's a funky looking hat, for sure. Blood Knight, Helm of the Wolf, agility and spirit, good for literally no one. Yeah. Let's murder these fools. Oh. My retaliation is never on off of cooldown, and yet I never seem to recall using it. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Wow. It's quite a drop. Quite a drop indeed. That must have been very, very coveted in the day. Indeed. I will check them out. First, I will kill these two people. The spirits are sleeping. Well, you know, general rule of thumb, lady. When someone's murdering you, they tend not to worry about whether or not they're disturbing people while doing so. Because murderers are a bit rude. Yes, I will go, Mr. Hunter.
Poor old Sarah. Oh dear. Well. Okay. First of all, I'll kill these people, and then I will clarify something. People have always been moaning about the death of WoW. And through all time, it has just become better and better, like a wine. Like a wine. You adore this game so very much. It is the only game where I can bash in faces at such a huge rate. So many faces, so much batting. And this is the final boss then, Exarch Maladar. He doesn't really do anything. Well, he spawns evil versions of people, like Shade of the Soul, and you just got to kill that, or rather not bother if you want. And then at low health, he spawns a Shade version of himself. And, um... Oh, he also fears, apparently. Didn't know that. So, Simex... Ah, yes. So, he Simex has gotten a stolen soul. So that's evil soul, and as long as that soul is alive, all of his damage and healing done is reduced, but of course, power creep. Power creep, power creep, power creep. So what's this? Fetal Fallen. Hmm. Do I want that? Yeah, that's technically good for me. So where is that fetish? Fetish, fetish. You can overtake strength, high tea. High teeth, high chief. You too, I say, even though they're all gone. Uh, did I do any quests? Yes, so let's do the old teleportation trick, if I can. Nope, because I was the last one in the party, I'm not in the dungeon, but it's like right over there. So I'll just go drop it off, drop off those quests myself. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back soon, and as always, for the I'll see you later.